Can everybody walk to today's video? Today's video, this is the transfer case motor that I swapped out a few videos back. Now I'm curious to know how this thing works. And I'm gonna take it apart. I have a theory. We got two wires going to the motor. So that must be for forward and reverse using the case as a ground. Now the error says with the contact plate. So if you look at here with those lineup marks, and then if you look at the three screws, they can be moved. So you must have to adjust it and set it so that when the motor's turning, this plate contacts something on the base. And that's what tells it to stop when it's shifting, I bet you. So what, what I wanna do is I wanna pull the pins out of the plug first and see if I can hook it up to 12 volt power supply to confirm the forward and reverse actions. I'm not saving this so I don't need to not damage the little pins in there. Not pins but the, the locks for the wire. Alright, everything's off. So I was wrong with the orange and yellow wire are bi-directional depending on which way it's turning so I got the red on the orange I'm going to ground the yellow I went to the end and that was clockwise and then I switched this back and touched the ground on the orange it's going to go counterclockwise and then we stopped at the end. So the transfer case motor does indeed still work. So now if you look at that and you see how that works. Inside that plate, there will be limits to when this stops, depending if you're in four low or four high. So the short air has to come in this plate. Now, let's just take this apart. That one was in there good. Let's pull this up and have a look. So I don't have a wiring schematic handy on me to tell me what wires do which, but if I have the ground on the white and the other wire on the brown and white, now if I turn this dial, I can go out of range, in range, stays in range for quite a while, but then turn it the opposite way, and I'm out. Same with if I go white and the purple, I'm out. Let's go with the orange. And I'm out. What about the yellow? What does the yellow one do? Well, it does go in range too, so yeah, it all kind of makes sense to me now. So that confirms why you got the marks there, and then the marks on the case. Fine tune and adjust it there. So I guess the real question comes down to when you get that air and everybody replaces the transfer case motor has this plastic piece with the limit switches failed or does it perhaps just need an adjustment because with my buddy Dave it wasn't shifting properly anymore so Gives you questions to ponder because we verified that the motor does indeed work. I don't have the wiring schematic on because I couldn't tell you what exactly each 
of the other five wires are but uh, I'll leave this for you guys to ponder in the comments below I'll see you guys in the next one